Imagine being able to vote in a presidential election while floating 250 miles above Earth. That's exactly what NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore are planning to do for the 2024 US election. They're currently living and working on the International Space Station, ISS, but that won't stop them from taking part in this important civic duty. Williams, who is 58 years old and of Indian origin, is excited about this unique opportunity. She said, it's a very important duty that we have as citizens and I'm looking forward to being able to vote from space, which is pretty cool. Her colleague, 61-year-old Butch Wilmore, shares her enthusiasm. He's already started the process saying, I sent down my request for a ballot today. These astronauts aren't the first to vote from space. American astronauts have been doing this since 1997. That year, Texas passed a law allowing NASA employees to vote from orbit. David Wolf was the first American to cast a vote from space while on the Mayor Space Station. In 2020, Kate Rubens also voted from the ISS. How does space voting work? You might be wondering how exactly astronauts vote from space. It's pretty clever. Here's how it works. Number one, the astronauts send a request for a ballot to Earth. Number two, election officials in Harris County, Texas, where NASA's Johnson Space Center is located, prepare a special digital ballot. Number three, they send a PDF file to the astronauts. This file has boxes the astronauts can click to make their choices. Number four, the PDF is password protected to keep the votes secret. Number five, after making their choices, the astronauts send the completed ballot back to Earth. Number six, the votes are counted along with everyone else's on election day. The system ensures that astronauts can participate in democracy even from space. An unexpected extended stay, Williams and Fillmore's space adventure has turned out to be much longer than planned. They were supposed to be on an eight-day trip that started on June 5th, 2024, but now they'll be in space until February 2025. That's about eight months instead of just over a week. This big change happened because of problems with their spacecraft, the Boeing Starliner. During its flight to the ISS, the Starliner had issues with its thrusters and some helium leaks. These problems made NASA worried about using it to bring the astronauts back safely. So, on September 6, 2024, NASA decided to send the Starliner back to Earth without any people on board. It landed safely in the New Mexico desert, but this left Williams and Wilmore without their original ride home. Now, they'll have to wait for a different spacecraft, a SpaceX Crew Dragon, to bring them back in February. This change of plans means they'll be in space for the November 5th election, live from the International Space Station. While they wait for their new ride home, Williams and Wilmore are keeping busy on the ISS. They're not up alone there, seven other astronauts are with them. Together, they do important scientific research that can only be done in space. A typical day for an astronaut on the ISS includes number one, conducting science experiments, number two, maintaining the space station, number three, exercising for about two hours. This is really important in space. Number four, talking to their families via video calls, and number five, enjoying some free time to look at Earth or take photos. Williams has even been named the commander of the ISS during their stay. This is a big responsibility and shows how much NASA trusts her skills and leadership. Staying positive despite challenges. You might think being stuck in space longer than expected would be tough. And you're right, it can be challenging, but Williams and Wilmore are handling it like true professionals. Williams said, we are here with our friends. We've got a ride home. She's looking at the bright side of getting to spend more time in space. Wilmore added that as former Navy personnel, they're used to plans changing suddenly. He said it's risky and that's how it goes in the business. Both astronauts emphasized that they don't feel let down by NASA or Boeing. Wilmore pointed to the NASA logo on Williams' shirt and said, that represents something that we stand for as an agency. We go beyond, we do things that are out of the ordinary. This is not easy. They also mentioned that about 90% of their astronaut training is about preparing for unexpected situations. So, in a way, this extended mission is putting all that training to good use. Of course, being away from home for so long isn't easy. Williams mentioned that she misses her family and her two dogs, but she knows. Her loved ones understand and are cheering for her and Wilmore. Thanks to modern technology, the astronauts can stay in touch with their families through video calls. This helps them feel connected to home even while they're far away. The importance of voting from space. 
You might wonder why it's such a big deal for astronauts to vote from space. After all, it's just two votes, right? But it's about much more than that. Here's why it matters. Number one, it shows that voting is so important, we have found a way to do it even from space. Number two, it proves that democracy works everywhere, even outside our planet. Number three, it inspires people on Earth. If astronauts can vote from space, surely we can find a way to vote on Earth no matter our circumstances. Number four, it demonstrates how technology can help us participate in democracy in new ways. Number five, it's a powerful symbol of our commitment to democratic values even as we explore space. As we plan longer space missions, like trips to the moon and Mars, the ability to vote from space will become even more important. The system we use now for the ISS might help us figure out how people can vote in these future missions. It also makes us think about how democracy might work if we ever built colonies on other planets. The lessons we learn from space voting today could shape how we govern ourselves in space in the future. Democracies at work. Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore's plan to vote from space is more than just an interesting space fact. It's a powerful reminder of the strength of democratic values. Their commitment to voting, even while orbiting high above Earth, shows that the right to vote has no limits, not even the edge of our atmosphere. This amazing feat shows how clever humans can be. We have used technology to make sure that even astronauts in space can have their say in elections, and this proves that our voting systems can adapt to any situation, and shows how dedicated people are to making sure every voice is heard, no matter how far from home that voice might be. As we keep exploring and pushing the boundaries of what's possible, the example set by Williams, Wilmore, and other astronauts will surely inspire future generations. Their actions remind us that taking part in democracy isn't just a right, it's a responsibility. And it's a responsibility that goes beyond the borders of our world and reaches into the stars. In the end, the story of voting from space is more than just a cool tech achievement or an interesting footnote in election history. It's a powerful symbol of how strong democracy is and how determined humans are to explore, create new things, and have a say in shaping the future, both on Earth and beyond. As we look forward to the 2024 US presidential election, we can be sure that among the millions of votes cast, two will have traveled an extraordinary distance. From their vantage point on the International Space Station, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore will be participating in this grand democratic exercise proving that the spirit of civic duty knows no bounds, not even the vast expanse of space. Their dedication serves as a reminder to all of us on Earth about the importance of exercising our right to vote. If astronauts can find a way to vote from orbit, surely we can overcome whatever obstacles we might face to make our voices heard. As we watch these space pioneers cast their ballots from afar, let's be inspired by their commitment and remember that every vote counts. Whether it's cast from a polling station down the street or from a spacecraft circling the globe. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed learning about how astronauts vote from orbit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Stay tuned for more out of this world stories about space exploration. Until next time, keep looking up and remember, your vote counts whether you are on Earth or among the stars.